Hi everybody, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver, with another pipe tobacco review. This time we're reviewing Cornell and Deal's Epiphany, which some say is very similar to what Albert Einstein's favorite tobacco was, which was Revelation. Let's fire it up and find out what it's like. This particular blend is by Cornell and Deal, and it's from thepipenook.com, which is owned by Eddie Gray. So let's get that started, but before we do, let's just have a little bit of... This is Kirk and Sweeney, aged 12 years, rum. I'm a big rum guy. Let's put it in a square shot glass. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. When you drink for taste, as opposed to volume or effect, you really enjoy your alcohol much, much more. So let me toast you, the watcher. Here's to you. Ah, butter rum lifesaver. <laughs> I'm going to be firing it up in a country gentleman. This was a gift by Mr. Rizzo, who was a guest of mine. He has an automotive shop, and I'm going to give you that link where you can go and get your car fixed and optimized by him if you live in the Philadelphia area. But this was a gift. It's a country gentleman that was purchased from Boswell's. And it has a Boswell's bit on it, a custom bit. So we're going to put the Cornell and Deal Epiphany in this. It's going to be a great match. Let me just open it up and give you my impressions of the tin note. Ah, very nice. Let me read this to you. Reminiscent of the original revelation said to be the favorite of Albert Einstein. That's an adroit melding of Virginia's, Burley's, Latakia, and Perique in unified harmony. And it's called Epiphany. Let me give you, you can take a screenshot of that. Epiphany. What I'm getting is that Virginia sweetness, the smokiness of the Latakia, that solid earthiness of the burly. I just licked it. <laughs> and a tiny, tiniest bit of spice from the Perique. Look at it. It's pretty, isn't it? Now, I got the sunlight coming in the window here in the Van Gogh room. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can actually tell. It's an interesting mix, isn't it? It's kind of like a little broken flake, a little bit of shag cut. Some shortcut, you can see the, the Perique and the Latakia, which are usually the darker. The Perique is an oilier looking dark leaf. The Perique is a small, looks almost like a burnt leaf as well. I don't, I think the, it's too long for me to just drop it into the pipe. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit like this and kind of, I'm not going to jam it in there. I'm going to put a little bit in, but I'm not jamming it in with my finger. I'm just going to press it in a little bit. You could also use the swirl method or the frank method or the three layer method, or you can just use the sultan method, which is just whatever the heck you want to do. <laughs> Now, I would normally be doing this over the Cadillac cutting board to get any pieces. Hey, a little tip for you. Whenever you load your pipe and you have a plate or a tray or a cutting board or something like that, any of the stuff that spills over, I usually have like a little razor blade and I kind of bring it all together. And then I put it in a jar. And by the end of the year, I end up with a jar. Let me show you. Um, right here. I have actually two jars. This is what I call my cutting board blend, and this is everything that I've puffed on in the past year in here. I also have a cutting board blend 
here. And man, that smells really good. And then what I do is I pack it up and I give it away um, as Christmas gifts with a corn cob pipe or a pipe that I make to family and friends. So that's something that I do. I just call it my cutting board blend. Let's just tamp this in just a little bit. And this is a beautiful briar tamper that Mr. Rizzo got at uh, Boswell's as well. I love this thing. It's just, it's very tactile and just the way that it's shaped is just perfect. So, thank you, Mr. Rizzo. I appreciate that. And thank you, Eddie Gray, for sending Epiphany. And I'm going to put the links down below where you can order Epiphany. Now, Eddie Gray has made it very clear that if you order $50 or more at thepipenook.com, that your shipping is free. And nobody, but nobody, does that. That's a great deal. So let's fire this bad boy up. Here we go. first light. <laughs> Inhaled a little bit. I'm not an inhaler, so it automatically stimulates a, uh, a gag response whenever I accidentally get something in my lungs. Now this is the third bowl I've smoked of this. I wouldn't call it an aromatic, but I'm getting a nice fr natural fruitiness out of this. I would call this a um, kind of a, almost like an English hybrid. I'm digging this. Nice. Very nice. It's not offensive. It's not going to drive everybody out of the room. Or most people, anyways. Is it a public smoking tobacco? Not so sure of that. Most Englishy kind of tobaccos aren't. What a nice combination. I think the combination of the different cuts of tobacco really contribute to this flavor because they're burning at different rates and heating up and being consumed by the fire, by the flame, uh, at different rates. And they're giving off just a nice mixture of smoke and flavors. Let me just try this thing where I exhale it through my nose. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Really, really nice. I like it. Let me take a little sip of my 12-year Kirk and Sweeney rum.
I think I like the pairing of the rum with it better than whiskey. Very nice. Very nice. This is not a hardcore... When I think about the like the hardcore Englishes, your Northwoods, your... Uh, is it the... Is it like the 5150 or something like that? The McClellan, real hard English, uh, Presbyterian blend, Larry's blend... Um, any of the Balkan blends. Uh, it's not like that. It's not strong, super strong Latakia. I never tried Revelation, although they're saying that that was Albert Einstein's favorite pipe tobacco. It's interesting, when I went to the... Um, um, the Museum of Jewish History in Philadelphia, they actually have one of Albert Einstein's pipes there. Strange, but I thought it was kind of cool. And also, like, if you go to Wheaton College in the library, they have one of C.S. Lewis's, who is my favorite author. They have one of his pipes which I want to steal. <laughs> and I want to write as I'm smoking one of C.S. Lewis's pipes. I promise I'll return it. I like it. I think I'm going to come back here tonight after the sun goes down. I'm kind of getting the sun coming in the window here. I'm going to come back tonight and fire up a full bowl. Watch my independent media news. A couple pipe videos. I'll probably be watching the Pipe Nook tonight. If you haven't seen his channel, I'll put the link down below. He has a wonderful YouTube channel. For those of you that are new to the world of pipe smoking, he actually has a series on how to smoke a pipe. It's very comprehensive. I could not do as good of a job as Eddie Gray does with his YouTube channel, and I think you'll really like it. And I would ask you to go to his YouTube channel and subscribe, just like you've subscribed to mine. Subscribe to his channel and hit the alerts. You'll really like it. One of the things that many people say about tuning in to a channel where someone is smoking a pipe is that they're very relaxing. And I've never, ever tuned in to a quote-unquote pipe smoking channel on YouTube that hasn't been relaxing. Crack open your favorite adult beverage, pour a little drink, and if you want, be like me. Make the move. This is what I did in the past year. I drink for taste, not for volume or effect. I used to drink to actually get, you know, if I was stressed out, you drink and you kind of calm down. I know how to calm myself down, so I don't need substances to do that. And I don't drink for volume. This could, <laughs> this right here, this is what, a quarter of a shot glass? This could last me all night because it works well with my palate and the piping. It's just, they're just, it's just a great pair. Mmm, really good. So Epiphany, I think, goes well with rum. This is different. The fact that What's really weird is I remember hearing that um, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien liked smoking capstan, and C.S. Lewis enjoyed smoking three nuns. And of course, I had to get them because they are authors that I just absolutely love. 
I gotta find out what Hemingway smoked. I know he liked smoking pipes on occasion as well. So I want to see what his favorite was. Hey, you never know, right? Go to thepipenook.com. Orders of $50 or more get free shipping. And that's going to get you started with some really wonderful brands. I would call the Pipe Nook a, uh, a boutique pipe and tobacco company. It's not a pipe tobacco superstore. It's personalized service. Go to his channel. Watch his videos. Subscribe to his channel. And smoke one of his pipes. You can get the Country Gentleman pipe and Epiphany at thepipenook.com. I will be back tonight with a full bowl of this. Hey, I wish you well. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And here's to you. A little pipe toast. Thanks for watching.